Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It is a very special Tuesday. By special, I mean I have a lot to get done today. I have two commissioned rugs that I'm hoping I can get finished just today alone. It's gonna be a little bit of a stretch trying to get that done, but I mean, I took my shower, I have a little bit of coffee ready, and I cleaned up my entire studio. So hopefully I'll be able to get these rugs done pretty quickly. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So these are the two rugs I'm trying to get done today. I am really hoping that they'll be able to fit on this smaller frame. I think the sizes come out to where they'll fit just perfectly. But yeah, I'll go ahead and get started by putting on my monk's cloth, stretching it really tight, and then we can start tracing our design onto it. You know your monk's cloth is ready when you finally get that awesome drum beat. Just listen. Oh yeah. So here are the two rugs. I was actually able to get them to both fit on the frame in the correct size, which is super exciting. The one thing I need to pay attention to is I need to make sure that this is not too close to each other. It's really hard to top when it's super close right here, but pretty much I was able to get a great border going all the way around. So I think we're ready to start tracing. So this first rug came out of a commission that I got through my Instagram DMs. That's usually how most of my commissions come in, either through that or like Etsy. Essentially someone will just send me an image of something they're interested in and kind of give me a vibe or description of what they want. And for this particular person, they wanted a really cute cow. So. I got some help from my boyfriend who is also an artist and he helped me create this cow you see here. Okay, so we have our cow all traced onto the monk's cloth. I decided I'm gonna wait to do the cat. I just think it'll be a little bit better to do that after it's stretched a little bit and that way the cat design doesn't get warped on here. I already love how it's looking. I am gonna get started with some black yarn and just start doing the outline of the cow and yeah, we'll just keep going from there. If we just take a little walk over to my yarn wall, we can see that I am all out of black. No more, so lucky for me, I went and picked up some more. I hope this is enough. We'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and make these into little yarn cakes and then we can actually get started. So one thing that I really love about tufting is that a lot of the time you're working with your hands and it gives you a lot of free time to just kind of think to yourself. And for me, I have really loved getting to listen to audiobooks. I've actually never been much of a book reading person. I just don't know why. I I never was super interested in it. But lately, I've started listening to audiobooks while I'm tufting. I mean, once you have everything traced on there, it's just a matter of doing the work. And once you've had enough practice, you don't have to think about it too hard. Currently, I am reading a book called Red, White, and Royal Blue. It's about a prince and the president's son falling in love and just kind of navigating that. It is really dramatic, super extra, but it's really good listen. And um, I'm really enjoying it so far. So I highly recommend y'all checking that out. Okay, we have our cakes made. Let's go ahead and get started topping. Okay, so this is what it looks like now that we are done with all the black. Obviously, I have to fill in all these empty spaces with white, and then I also have to put in all like the pinks of the face. But yeah, it's coming together pretty nicely. I, I really like how it looks. Okay, a little update for you guys. I finally finished this cow. It is kind of late now. It took me a little bit longer than I thought, but here is what our cow looks like. Beautiful, soft, fluffy. I'm like really happy with how it looks. Welcome back. It is now the next morning. I am rested. I got some more coffee. We are ready to get finished with the second rug. I'm gonna be making that cat today. Here you can see our cow looking good, fresh. I really love how it turned out. And right down here is where I'm gonna do the cat. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Look at the cute little kitty cat. Oh, This was based off of a picture that someone sent me and I was able to make a little sketch. And this is how it came out. I it's so cute. Let's get the trace in. Okay, our first step with this cat is we're gonna wanna do these whiskers just because they go over top of everything and we're gonna have to build around those. So I'm gonna do that first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Looks a little silly. Okay, so it's been a day and our glue is looking nice and tacky. Looks like it is ready to be taken off the frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting it out. Okay, so now that we have our rugs off the frame, I'm essentially gonna start taking these little borders that I created and hot gluing them down. So I take my scissors, make little cuts going all the way around the rug, and then I essentially just start gluing it down. So that's our first step once we get it off the frame. Okay, I've finally gotten both of the rugs finished and it's time for a reveal. Up first, we have our cow rug. I am absolutely obsessed with how this rug came out. I really am happy with how all the carving was able to separate the black and the white. I mean, you guys kind of saw it before. It wasn't looking super clean, but after taking some scissors and some trimmers to it, I really love how this cow came out. And up next, we have our second rug. It is this cute little kitty cat. I love how this rug came out. It is so cute. I think I was really able to get the essence of this cat and put it into this rug. Now it is gonna end up being a wall hanging, so I put a little um, hanger on the back. Oh, and it sounds like we have another little kitty cat who wants to say hi. Kitchen, what do you think? You like it? Yeah, she's your new best friend. Oh, they're gonna be best friends. So that does it for this video. I'm gonna be shipping these off later today so that the people who ordered them can get their brand new rugs. I hope you guys liked watching. If you did, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one.